Alrighty. Collect flying pages, alrighty. Akio! Got it. Hey! <laughs> hey! We are the pros. I see something. Might some kind soul help me? Oh, I can help you. What's up? Let's go. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Ha <laughs> ha, feels. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds like it's for the best lady. I'd done the same. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. <laughs> I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Well... You haven't told us how many gobstones to find. Our quest log says find six, but I don't think I heard you say you could find my six gobstones once. Revelio. How rude. Well, that's cool. Revelio. What do gobstones look like? That's what a gobstone looks like. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly okay. see what all the fuss is about. What's this? Lumos Levioso Oh hello Wasn't even trying to find that Let's go to the next one Thank you Revelio. There's something in there. I just know it. Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Thanks, Lenora. Do come and find me. Maybe you'll find on something illuminating that's... Accio. Mm. Revelio. Lumos. Oh. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Um, looks like a big round statue at the bottom of a stairwell. Sometimes I wish someone would transfigure me into a screw. 
Right, what was that sound? Oh, it's you. Nothing down here. Nothing. Oh, hello. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Solve the puzzle of that empty frame. Well, where did Lenora go? I Black would get rid of the <laughs> Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! I don't think so. We're hiding, uh, we're hiding our natural beauty. Absolutely rocking the scarf. Alrighty, cloaks and robes. <laughs> what? Do we want the cloak? Or our. No, we're definitely going cloak. Definitely. What is this? What is that? Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Thank you, Paige. Oh, there's another Paige. I'm dreading taking my transfiguration out. Absolutely dreading it. Well, don't do it then. Simple. Oh, dear. I shall get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Oh, go on looking in the restricted section. Charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have if the time. If I have the oh, time. I very much appreciate it. I expect if you could collect payment in full. I'll send you my invoice. Right. Let's go spaghetti. -o. Yes, yes, yes. I'm oh, going hello. to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, pages. Hello. Oh, what's this? Ah, just ran just in the middle of the room on the table. Thank you, free money. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Interesting. Oh, oh, I see Paige, I see Paige. Come back, come back, come, come back! Akio!
Oh. Gotcha. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Oh, hello. Lumos. That's a huge portrait downstairs, I think. Has to be downstairs. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, hello. Hello. Black moths to a flame. Accio. Oh, it's not going to let me Accio my pages. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, I've jumped off the stairs. Yes. Yeah, I could do it. Let's go. I got your pages. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. I think oh, so. You're not at all who I thought you to be. <laughs> what should we do? Mm. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, okay. Did you just move back in your seat? How dare you? What? What? <laughs> what? Right, right, right. Where are we going now? Righty. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. You're welcome. Don't call me big brains for nothing. Let's go. I saw you move. I saw it. Lumos, Levioso, Accio, Revelio. Hmm. Accio. Gotcha. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah. And pages. Let's go. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Hmm, purple flames. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Rebellion. Ah. 
Very cool. Alrighty, let's go. Nothing. I've always said. I've always said. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Protego. Accio. Sneak Revenue. spell or something. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'm doing just that. Something plus a snake plus two equals fourteen. Oh, it tells you I have over there. So it's two plus a snake equals nine. Two plus a snake nine. That means that would be five. <laughs> That's a total of nine. That's wrong. It's the fourteen. So, uh, two plus something. So, uh, let's just say... That... Snake on that? Yes. That. Two, three, four. So let's just say that's two, or not that thing. Okay. And then the other one, zero, one, and then we want three, so it's that thing. Hello? Very cool. Lumos. Revelio. This is very fancy. Hello. Ambitious cloak. Now oh, that's cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is another big boy room. Oh, okay. Okay. That was Lizard and that thing. Lizard was... Five, six. Rebellion. Okay. That sort of redefines my understanding of what the values are. I wish I knew what the values were. Alrighty. Spider and unicorn. Hmm, okay. Revelio. Okay.
been so helpful just before. Oh my god. Down this way, down across. Ah. I heard a ding. Where's the ding? Revelio. Ah. An extra page for my collection. Chest. Hello, person. Got the, got the door here. Yes. Hello, person. Ready. Lumos. We are going to have to wait until that goes away. Okay, it looks like a foyer. The pictures and a small mini thing of stairs. Revelio. I think there's a few things up here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Lumos. Hello. Easy. Come with me. Decent, thank you. Easy. Thank you for my free page. The field guard pages. Yeah. Okay. We are speed. Revelio. One, two, uh, over here. Now we have a chart that we can use. Beat my inventory. Quest items, notes, maybe it's a, uh, no, no. This must be, yes, yes, yes. Alrighty, now we just need to take a picture of this on our phone screen. Otherwise there is no chance we will remember those numbers. Okay, let's use that cheeky zoom function. Alrighty, one and a spider is nine. We need a four and a four is that thing, and I have no idea what that is, but if we see it, we'll know it. It's not that thing. Nope. It is that thing, whatever that is, that is what we need. Alrighty. And what is the other one? 13 and some snakes. Or some dragons, I don't know. Um, 13 and some snakes, that's uh, 16. So we need five more. Five is the four-legged thing. See. That thing. Boom. Aha! We are Lumos. gods. Three seater sofas. Nice. Refined dueling. Revelio. Heard a ding. I heard a ding. That was the ding. I feel like it's getting very close this sound. Righty. Oh, it's a page up there. Hello! Rebellion. Where did all this smoke come from? There was a chest under the stairs, but how do I get it? Maybe that is just cosmetic. Righty. Hey, that's pretty fancy. There's a big boy chest here. I cannot do anything. How nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you. Excuse me. The rudeness. Lumos. Alright, I don't think there's anything here, so let's fast travel. Uh let's get Matt. 
Alrighty. I think we've gotten a little bit off track. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Ah. Uh -huh. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly sure. see what the fuss is about. Cheeky bugger. Levioso. And another cheeky, another cheeky scroll. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. I know. Oh, this is amazing! Oh, ho, ho. oh we know what you're from, you cheeky bugger. Nah, I can't be mad at you, so cute. Revelio. But someone would have hidden up. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Ready? Running, 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 running. Revelio. Yeah, I see something. I see. Alright, get up. Oh, ho, 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 that's so cool. See that? Oh, I see something up there. How the hell? Oh, okay. Now, that's a question answered. Alrighty. Alrighty, we've got another code to solve. Let's have a look. Yes! Go. Goal and candle shop. Nice. Rebellion. Oh, we're good. Whoa, I almost ran off the edge. Right, he's still running. Oh, I heard something. Put up high or I hear a ding, but I can't see a ding. Maybe, maybe it is there, and I just, I just, I'm blind. Oh, 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 yes. Handy resource indeed, your Revelio. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, let's maybe keep going up. Yes. Hmm. Uh oh, sneeze coming. <laughs> oh. We're at the top now. Hit dings, but there's nothing. Alrighty, let's go up here. Maybe it's up here somewhere. Oh, 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 I saw something. I think that is on the floor up. Yes! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's cool. Man! You're gonna have to be one chunky boy to wear that. Revelio. That's so cool. Oh, Quidditch. Quidditch stuff. Oh. Brands and... The lock. Aha, I found you. Accio. And these guys went above and beyond to hide these balls from her. Revelio. Wait. Yes. Okay, we're going around this way. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's cool. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Over here. That's a pretty cool trophy. Revelio. I still hear dings. Oh, there's something up there. Even higher. It's my last one. No. What? Okay, so to get up to that last one, we need to break the lock. And we can't break the lock. So we can't actually complete it. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, let's get quests. So we can't collect gobstones. Let's go to speak to the thing I know about his little secret dueling club. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. No, no, no. Zenobia's gobstones are not worth the investment of time at the moment. I need to learn the spell. And I don't know who's going to teach me the spell. Yes, let's go. Unloaded textures, yes. Oh, hello. Lumos. Doorway, two pillars, and a nice door. Revelio. Wow. I think I found this one by Lumos. mistake. Whoops. <laughs> hey, Biz. Thank you. <laughs> what? Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim! Whee! I'll get you for this. <laughs> That's great. Now it's locked. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Let me answer. Yes. Revelio. I think he can. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Oh, prize? Say no more. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get Let's me go. in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! I can see this only ending one way. With a prize. We'll make you regret signing up. What? Is this... Break through yellow shields like levitation. Let 
wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Why, thank you, sir. Hope to see you back here again. Oh, you will. Don't you worry. Alrighty, now that we've done that, we've done all the side quests that we can possibly do. We need to visit Hogsmead, gather our supplies. But before we do that, we need to do Professor Ronan's assignment. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Wand's yes, ready. Sir. Wand's ready. Let's go. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, oh, oh it's going to be a tough one. Let's go. And easy. Reparo. Reparo. Broken pieces of an environment. Oh, that's so that's neat. It. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Oh, that is Allegedly pretty cool. Symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover. Revelio. Lashed out. So cool. What's this? That's so cool. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. New charge, indeed. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Or have I? Well, Damn. I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Indeed we shall. My goodness, this is gorgeous. Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. This is amazing. Well, invested me in a jewel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. It's amazing. Let's go for a run. Oh, this is amazing. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. 
I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. I'm sorry I did not abandon him. What are okay. you up to now? Nothing. Oh, okay. Revelio. Oh, fancy. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Revelio. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, Ooh. just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Revelio! Let's go. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite oh. a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy has already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Excellent. Bit of a run. Alrighty. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. Leaving Toadstool Castle. It is that. Really cool. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads Ooh. to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Magic. Hello. Ah. Well, that's cool. Come on, I see you. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't in the Moonstone, huh? Oh, hello. Yes! Hello, kitty! Oh, cute. Also, so cute. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Super. Oh, I see more tools. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Not the more of these bad boys. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, oh, hello. You might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? 
demi... Guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. All uh, right. Tell you guys, I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. <laughs> he's had some moonstone, that's what he's had. Mr. Moon do is moonstone quite kids. character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Am I going for a jug? Oh! Oh, the cat, yes! Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know yes. if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. And the cats. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. I can't imagine how muggles get by without the magic. <laughs> Damn muggles. Hello? Revelio. There are quite a few locks on the doors of places around here. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. <laughs> have some fun, I will. Alrighty. Hey! Alrighty, let's go to the one shop. What's this a chest just sitting there? Use. What am I using? I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. Uh... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Yes, I agree. Here, give this one a try. Oh, it doesn't look too shabby. Not too well, shabby. Go ahead, swish. Give it a swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> That's uh, words. Um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Hey, red case, come on. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. You know, I've seen better, but it doesn't look bad. Oh. Oh, 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 huh. 
Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Cool. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. <laughs> Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Yes, a stick. <laughs> oh, wait, I get to edit it? Yes. yes indeed. I notched. Classic. Arrow. Spiral stalk. How intriguing. Brain, dark brain. Crooked spiral. Natural brain. I'm actually. Curious indeed. Sure. Let's edit this one a little bit, see if we can do something. 13 and a half inches, it's going to be in nine and three quarters. Let's do cedar. Huh. Dragon Heartstring serves as the core of the one known for producing powerful magic, consistent magic, a great range of magic. You know what? I want to see. I want to see some spells. Let's go range of magic. Ah, Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? I think yes. That's what I think. Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm Ooh. eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellion. Righty. Oh, come on. Rebellion. My super powerful one surely could do that. What's this? Uh, it's a flame. It's a flame. An inquiring mind. Hello, sir. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. 
good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, oh, nice. feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Alrighty, we're all cashed up. Let's go. Very Welcome to Jay Pippin's potions. That's just a chest in your shop right in front of you. Doesn't bat an eye. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may Professor I Weasley today? sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. <laughs> Is it not the most fascinating art of potion devil. making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Let's what can get I do our for recipes you today? indeed. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Alrighty. <laughs> Rebellion. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Yes, oh, yes indeed. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. You are correct. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, oh, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. All right, yeah, my job's are done. Let's go, Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh! Danger! What are Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! Oh, great. Ah, 
control. Dodge. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at him. We'll wear him down eventually. Let me on. Oh god. Let me answer. Luma. Prepare on. Get him. He's faltering. A few more hits should do the job. Get him. Get him, Sebastian. What are you doing? <laughs> Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer, and thank you again. Mm. Revelio. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. Repair. I'll go and see what he wants. And just like that, everything's back together. Excellent. Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer, let's go. the other troll get pulled off to? I didn't realize Sebastian was with me. Jeez, always. Oh, yes. Hello, kitty. Oh, it's so cute. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. What are you now? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. 
I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Oh. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oh. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Did Is actually. that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only yeah, say that again. usually have to deal with... Uh, uh, how timely. You got this, Was mate. that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the calibre of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Mm, actually, I can. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. <laughs> No, you do not. Alrighty. Revelio. Oh. 
Ready. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. That's Once you've point. honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Ah, I believe... I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised I by some could of do them. that. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. You're back. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Okay, ready then? for another round? Well, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Nassie. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. <laughs> Leviosa. Find the one. Leviosa. Lumos. Akio. Let me Put a Lumos. Arrest the Lumos. Give him what for. Let me 
Prepare Thank you. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. I don't think some people are happy. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Actually, I might come back. Suit yourself. Put around a spell combination with Lucan Brattleby. Huh. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready. Glad you could. Ready to have a. I am ready to have a. That would be go. wonderful. If he needs. Levios. <laughs> Nicely done. Levioso. That's it. Levioso. Akio. Excellent form. So that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Excellent. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor? Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. What? Again, again. Uh, 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 well, we don't really need repair. Incendio. Whee! Okay, you for this. <laughs>